Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. As you know, me and Vinny of Clash with Vinny plan to have a little farming competition for fun. So we were each going to have a two-hour farming session where we boosted. We were allowed to boost half of our barracks, we decided. And that did include dark barracks, like one dark barracks if we wanted. So we each did that. And uh, you'll see here, I'm starting out. Going to do one dark barracks and two normal barracks. That's pretty good for me. I've never really liked boosting all the barracks because with this, you can raid every five minutes or less. Uh, I can't raid any faster than that. And as you'll see, um, searching became a problem. I was searching for a really long time, so any more boosts than this would have been a waste. Um, it was very fun, but uh, I was sort of chasing this like elusive farming range. Uh, people kept telling me that uh, you know Lower Crystal League was great and... Uh, and some people even told me Gold League was great, so I tried that, and it was a mess. Don't listen to people that say that. I mean, you know, if you really need to get out of the range you're in, ask your friends what's working for them. But don't just blindly follow, um, you know, what other people say is good like me. That was bad. I got all the way down to, like, 1900 and was like, oh, no. Now I gotta get all the way back up to Master League, <laughs> which I'm gonna do today, but... That's fine. It's fun. So, I can't, of course, show you the whole two hours, but I just want to show you the strategy I was using. Me and Vinny spoke about what we were going to use. Normally, we use Barch, but we are both familiar with Hog Barch, which is Barb's Archers and about 14 to 16 Hogs. So, I'm going to show you a couple raids and uh, how I do that. Um, first, of course, you have to check for CC troops and take out the heroes. Hogs cannot engage heroes or CC troops, so you got to get the archers and barbs to do that. Next, it's just uh, use whatever archers and barbs you have left to take out as many defenses as possible. You'll see I'm taking out all these outside here. Then I'm going to drop the hogs, and they're going to go straight into the core. In the core, there's usually expos, heavy defenses like that. You put a heal all over the core. So the hogs can now safely take out more than half of the base once they go out through the other side of the base it's all done I mean I've already taken out a lot of the stuff on the edges and I mean there's no contest here this is this is a great strategy um, in the way I'm doing it it's very simple the only problem is there's there's a threshold of what it can't take uh, this can't always take on a really good Town Hall 9 if the Town Hall 9 has big bombs giant bombs inside it's tough um, and it can't take on a good Town Hall 10 because uh, the Infernos wreck the Hogs. But you don't always have to 3-star to get the loot. We all know that. You can sometimes use the Hogs to just pave the way for your heroes, which I've also done a few times. Um, I don't have any replays of that right now because I was just farming so fast I couldn't really stop <laughs> to, to record. See, that, that loot wasn't even that great. That wasn't really what I was looking for. I, I want equal amounts of elixir and gold um, but I just wasn't finding much you know you see like this raid 125 of each basically this is what I was taking most of the time so I you know I didn't I didn't do great in this two hours um, mostly because I dropped cups <laughs> so Vinny may have won and if he did congrats to him he's a great raider and great farmer that's why he has awesome walls like me so Mad props to him, whether he he won or not. I think it looks like right now, um, I got something like three million in the two hours, so that's decent for a um for a half half boosted racks. That's uh, you know, about a million and a half an hour, I guess. Let's see what the exact total is at the end, but uh, I don't know. I'm I'm happy with it because this uh, prepping for this, I. I decided to use hog barch for a little while just to get the hang of it again and you know I did a couple walls just prepping for this and then in doing this I got enough for for another couple walls so in the end it's just all about good farming you'll see here I did put the core uh, the heel in the core again that's how I almost always do it put the heel in the core try to overlap as many defenses as possible and then once those hogs get through the core they're already halfway or more through the defenses I also use my heroes to help out on the defenses, especially Archer Queen. You just want to make sure she doesn't get shot at too much. But 
you know, maybe she can take out two defenses by herself and uh, just help help get the hogs to go straight into the core instead of sideways. That's always a big help for me. I never use more than one spell unless the loot is crazy and uh, I won't get it without a second spell. Sometimes, like Town Hall 10 bases, maybe they're, they're underdeveloped, but they're really spread out or something. I don't know. So that's happened to me sometimes. A really spread out base is tough for hogs. You might need two spells because everything's so spread out. So sometimes I'll use two on occasion, but normally just one heal spell. So you'll see my barracks boost just ran out. I've got 5,309,000. So let's add that, well, subtract what I started with and see what the total is on that and the elixir. All right, so I got the totals here. I ended up gaining 2.9 million gold, 2,900,000, and for elixir, 1.9 million so one million nine hundred thousand that's interesting I felt like I was tr at least trying to gain the same amount of elixir as gold but um, I guess I'm still not going for elixir even when I think I am um, so a little more than uh, one million an hour which is good for Town Hall 10 but I expected more on the boosts when I was Town Hall 9 I would get up to three million an hour when I was boosting half of my barracks but this is Town Hall 10, this is the big boy leagues. As long as I can upgrade some of my walls, I'm super psyched. So, and this, this was a lot of fun. This was a fun um, little event, and I, I think I want to rematch Vinny in the future, whether he beat me or not. I, I think I want to do this again. Next time, I think we may try to include Dark Elixir. This time, it was a little hard because um, my Dark Elixir is always full. I didn't think I was going to be able to count it. But now if I use Hogs a lot, I can count it. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little challenge and got pumped up for, uh, for a little battle between me and Vinny. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.